Who is God? In a remarkable journey through the sacred pages of the Bible, we are invited to explore the space between what we know and what remains mysterious, between the tangible and the infinite. Each word, like stars in the night sky, reveals truths beyond our grasp, urging us to delve into the depths of the divine. In this maze of revelations, we face questions that resonate like thunder through the corridors of time. What is God and what is he like? Unraveling these divine mysteries, we discover a treasure trove of answers that echo like timeless melodies, weaving together the sacred and the human. Yet, as we progress, we recognize the limits of our finite understanding. In the face of our Creator's grandeur, we are finite and limited beings. How can we try to hold an ocean in our hands? Similarly, our attempt to comprehend the fullness of God is humbly acknowledged as the journey becomes even more intriguing as explorers of the divine cosmos. We navigate through the mysteries of creation and redemption. Our understanding, like a compass pointing to the infinite, guides us through the vast fields of faith. Just as an ancient map uncovers unknown lands, the Bible reveals the hidden corners of God's heart. Embark on this spiritual adventure, understanding that while questions about what are revealed to us, questions about how challenge us to ponder the unfathomable, unveiling the scriptures, we become pilgrims of divine wisdom, eager for more, knowing that the pursuit of understanding is an eternal journey before the eternal God. And here, with the Bible open, I share with you that God is spirit. No one has seen God, and you haven't either. Though the Bible speaks of his hands, it's a way to help our limited minds grasp the immense power of God. It's true that the Bible mentions God's eyes and mouth, but it's a way to help us understand that he sees everything and communicates with us. God is spirit without a physical form that can be weighed, measured, touched, or felt. He is a personal spirit, not just a concept. That's why God has names with Jehovah or Yahweh, being one of the most well-known, reflecting how he revealed himself to Moses in the burning bush, as I am who I am. God is not something. He is someone. This personal aspect is emphasized in the Bible, where people are described as becoming friends with God, and he becomes theirs. Throughout the scriptures, it's evident that God can be known. However, understanding God's nature is a challenge. In terms of space, God is everywhere. As stated in Jeremiah 23, 24, do I not fill heaven and earth? This means that God is present everywhere, at all times, in all his glory, being majesty, purity, and power. This concept challenges our mortal minds. How can all of God be here and yet also be there? How can his fullness be present in every corner of the universe simultaneously? It's a mystery that surpasses human understanding, but it's what the scripture declares. In the face of this, all we can do is bow in worship. God is eternal, transcending time and existing without beginning or end. In terms of time, God is eternal existing from everlasting to everlasting. Whether Abraham prayed to him in the past or we pray to him now, he remains unchanged, without a beginning or an end. He is infinite and ageless with no limits. Regarding knowledge, God possesses infinite understanding. While our knowledge is limited and accumulates slowly, God knows everything having never learned anything and comprehending all things. He sees the truth of all matters at all times, and his understanding is described as infinite in Psalm 147. Deceiving God is impossible as he perceives things as they truly are. In terms of power, 
God acts according to his will. Psalm 115.3 states that our God is in the heavens doing whatever pleases him. Daniel 4.35 emphasizes that he exercises his will among the host of heaven and the inhabitants of the earth, and no one can question his actions. Ephesians 1.11 12 affirms that he works all things according to the counsel of his will, even down to the smallest details, without any trace of evil. This eternal and powerful God is also described as holy and light in the Bible. His holiness is so intense that even sinless creatures cannot look directly at him. In his presence, where no sin has ever occurred, there is a unique splendor that highlights his holiness. God is not only eternal, knowledgeable, and powerful, but he is also holy and pure without a trace of darkness. The term holy denotes being set apart, and God is distinctly separate from all his creatures due to his complete purity. Despite our inability to fully grasp this concept, we accept the scriptural truth that he is glorious in holiness. As acknowledged by the psalmist and Moses, God is just with eyes too pure to behold sin, a wonderful truth to contemplate. Imagine if the eternal, omnipresent, all-knowing and all-powerful God were described as evil or selfish. Fortunately, we don't have to convey such a message. He is holy. Everything about him is pure and right. In Psalm 145, we see that the Lord is righteous in all his ways. God cannot do anything wrong. Every thought, word, and action of his is inherently right. Moreover, God is love, and the Bible affirms this truth. Love is not equated with God. Rather, God is characterized by love. His forgiveness towards enemies is a remarkable demonstration of his wisdom and goodness. The Bible asserts that God is ready to forgive and abundant in mercy for all who seek his compassion. Final word in this specific list is wise. Blessings are offered to the name of God forever, acknowledging his wisdom and might. Daniel emphasizes that wisdom and might belong to God as we observe the intricacies of creation. From the delicate balance to the smallest molecules, atoms and DNA, we recognize the profound wisdom in God's creative work. His wisdom is evident in the complexity and order of the universe, demonstrating his profound understanding the very existence of knowledge. The concept of understanding is a creation of God. Reflecting on how God devised a plan to save rebels, sinners, and ungrateful individuals through the sacrifice of the cross showcases his wisdom. In the words of the Apostle Paul, we marvel at the depth of the riches of God's wisdom and knowledge acknowledging the incomprehensibility of his judgments and ways. God is beyond our understanding. As we delve into the sacred pages of the Bible, questions beginning with what find clear answers, we can confidently articulate what God is like and the kind of God he is, because he chose to reveal himself to us. However, questions that begin with how about the nature of God's omnipresence, omniscience, justice, and love remind us of our limitations as finite and sinful beings. In humility, we bow before the mystery, recognizing God's transcendence. Faced with the unknown, our trust rests in God's sovereignty, and our worship is grounded in awe of His being. Exploring the depths of faith, we find comfort in the answers that Scripture provides, but we also embrace mystery as an integral part of our journey. Like children before a wise father, we surrender to the mystery of God, acknowledging that our understanding is limited. In conclusion, 
as we navigate the complexities of faith, our trust remains in the eternal and infinite God. If you have experienced a divine presence during this reflection and feel the desire for a transformative encounter with Christ, the invitation is extended to accept Him. Leave a comment expressing your acceptance of Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, initiating a new phase or renewing your commitment on this journey of faith. Until next time,